Multiplication. But what does it mean? Kids. No. Disease. Um, no. More food. <sighs> I'm looking for the definition. Multiplication. To multiplicate. You don't speak. Multiplication is the process of combining matrices, vectors, and other quantities under specific rules to obtain their product. Very good, Calvin. Want. What you doing? Don't be retarded. Mr. Harold, we're trying to learn here. I have a feeling it's somebody's birthday today. Bingo! Oh, yay! I love birthdays. It's the day that you were pushed out of your mama's. Okay. So whose birthday is it? Take a guess. Bridget's? Not mine. My birthday's in May. Is it the old ladies? Hey! Nope, not us. Is it mine? You're an idiot. <sighs> it's mine, you stupid. <gasps> oh. Well then, happy birthday! Thank you! Wait a minute! You have a birthday? Hmm, who's the idiot now? My apologies, Mr. Harold. Happy birthday. I'm just showing you. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, you son of a bitch! Miss Pumpernickel? What's funny? <laughs> I don't like seeing you either. <laughs> Y'all hold up. Miss P, I thought you was in prison. Yeah, they let me out on good behavior. And bond too. I find that hard to believe. 
Yeah, me too. They let me out and let me house arrest and community service too. And it's too little mug. If you're on How to Ranch, then how are you here? How to Ranch? Okay, so Mr. Harold, what you want for your birthday? I'm so glad you asked. Because I recently found out that these people do these things on their birthday. It's called a roast. Oh, I know what you're talking about. I had one for my birthday a few years back. Yes! And that's what I want. And I want it now. What, seriously? Now? Yes! Move, peasant. <clears throat> Let's get on with it! Okay. Well, let me be the first to... You of all people have no room to roast someone. Now go away. Fix my boob. Aight, so first of all, I want to say happy birthday to Mr. Harold and many more. Hopefully. Now, Mr. Harold, I want to say that I am very sorry for not getting you a cake. I didn't think that you could eat anything other than Jello. Oh, hush. Mr. Harold, I've been meaning to ask you this question. What? In what order did God actually create the world? <laughs> also, did you know Adam and me personally? <laughs> Look, I love to stay and talk, but there ain't enough jokes in the world. Happy birthday. Let's do this. Mr. Harold, it's no secret that you're crazy. Not at all! Well, let's say you're so crazy that you let the air out of your tires before you drive away. <laughs> I have to! <laughs> My mom does that before she drops the dog off at day school. Man, I really wish I could have gotten you a gift, but everybody here pitched in to get the candles for your cake. <laughs> Old. <laughs> and let's just admit, you know you're getting old when one, the candles cost more than your cake, and two, you're still shopping at Forever 21 at age 76. <laughs> Would you look at the time? I would love to stay and make more jokes, but I know your hours are limited. Uh, where do I start? Well, Mr. Harold, first of all, you're so old, you don't even know what Gucci is. What's Gucci? Yeah. Boring! Anyways, 
Mr. Harold, you're so old that in your day the TV was in black and white. Boo! Get off the stage! No, I've got one more. Watch. Mr. Harold, you're so old that your boobs hang like women's. That's inappropriate. Ah! Next! Okay, Mr. Harold is so stupid. You better watch it, boy. He's so not the smartest that when he counted 196 cows on the field, he rounded them up and noticed that he had 200. <laughs> Okay, okay. Mr. Harold is so old that when he got pulled over by the police, they think that he's drunk driving, but really it's just his eyesight. <laughs> What's with all the bad jokes? It's hilarious. <laughs> no. No, it really isn't. Miss Aunt Shirley, aren't my jokes hilarious? Well, they're, uh, no. You have no sense of humor. All right, who's next? I actually have a list of jokes. Okay, so Mr. Harold has been here for a long, 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 long time. That's a long time. I know, right? Mr. Harold, you are so old that you don't even buy shoes anymore. You just use your ears for coverage. <laughs> so, I've also noticed that you've been doing your own hair and beard lately. Please stop immediately. Why? Because your hair is so nappy that not even Moses can part it. Oh, she just said that you had nappy hair. Oh, that's so funny. Oh, that's funny. Fashion is so sassy. This isn't about me. Oh, uh, Asha is so ugly. Okay, really? It is joke. Why are you not no joke when you hear joke? Because you ain't joking. No, you're right. Cam, you're supposed to make jokes about Mr. Harold. But he's like my best friend. I can't joke about him and say those mean stuff that you say. Then go sit down. What a turnout! Thank you all for coming! 
We didn't have a choice. Well, thank you anyways. <laughs> Mr. Harold, you are so old that when you went to an antique auction, people bet on you. <laughs> Who would want to? <laughs> <laughs> And at your age, getting a little action means not having to take your fiber for the day. <laughs> I've seen stale raisins with less wrinkles. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> I can't stand it! <laughs> thank you, thank you. Now, before I go, I would just like to say that Mr. Harold's glasses are so big that when he looks on a map, he can see people waving. <laughs> Thank you! What a crowd! Hello, everyone. My name's Madison Young. Oh, hello. Okay, um, I've never done a roast before, but I'll try my best. Now, I remember when I first met Mr. Harold, but of course I'm pretty sure that half of ancient gods remember meeting him too. <laughs> <laughs> I know there have been a lot of old jokes on this poor old man, but who can really help it, right? Preach, sister! I hate to say, but you're so old that when you were young, colors were not created yet. Now everyone in here knows that you're a pretty strong man for your age. But when it comes to, I've fallen and I can't get up, I think you're just being lazy. <laughs> it's funny because it's true. <laughs> what do stars have in common with Mr. Harold's teeth? What? They both come out at night. <laughs> I would like to thank Mr. Harold for this amazing day and for not suspending me after this. Happy birthday, you grumpy old man. <laughs> so, Mr. Harold, how was that for a roast? What is wrong with all of y'all? What do you mean? Making all those hurtful jokes. Why, I never. But you said that you wanted us to roast you for your birthday. Well, we're sorry, but you asked us to. Since when are y'all listen to me? You don't hurt my feelings. Remember me. I feel really bad. Yeah, so do I. Well, don't. He asked for this, and it's not like any of you in here would have said what you did to hurt him on purpose. Yeah, but still, 
I should have known better. My jokes can cut like a knife. That's a pretty dull knife. Ugh. I'm hilarious, right, Madison? Baby. Just stick to school. Well, I guess I have to be the one to go and fix this. You okay down there?